Hey everyone, it's UA from the Strictly Broken YouTube channel. I know, I know, it's an amazing background. I had to do it for the lols. But video is actually kind of serious. And maybe hopefully the background, you know, makes the uh, video less uh, serious and less uh, Debbie Downer. Uh, so, you know, kind of clickbaity title, not really. Something I personally feel like is up with Wayshores, is wrong with Wayshores. And I felt this way, it's actually been a couple years, I get snippets of this feeling over this issue, but I want to now vocalize it in a video because, frankly, I, I just, you know, it's just from, as an observer, I feel like something's fundamentally weird, wrong, and uh, and also, I, I know I'm part of some particular circles, uh, you know, being someone who's played more, more so on the competitive side uh, for... Uh, most of my way shorts playing experience so maybe i'm biased here and i would love to hear that i'm absolutely wrong that i'm an idiot in the comments please let me know but i digress i want to get straight to the topic something's wrong with way shorts what is it i feel like the fundamental uh, capture element uh thing about this game is now missing and what do i mean by that way shorts at its core is a card game you know card games have mechanics gameplay and everything but it has for its selling point its connection to anime it just feels like the anime in way shores is not there so much anymore when it comes to talking about this game it's like you can just pull the anime aspect out of it anime is what you know gets people interested in the sets it's what get, it gets people interested into the game but when it comes down to the gameplay, the anime gets basically sucked out, out of it immediately. So it's kind of like when I played the entire five, six years I've played this game, I don't think I've ever remembered the full card name of a card a single time. Uh, I've never looked really closely at the arts. Uh, the SPs I buy, I just have them for... I mean, I do. I guess I do look at the SP arts, but it's just like I never really look too closely. I never appreciate the anime aspects of Way Shorts as much as just the gameplay. And I feel like, almost like, it's, they have separated into two different things. It's like the anime and the Way Shorts. And people play the game now more than ever as just the game and not the anime. And maybe that's even a good thing. But, that's, if that is actually true and not me just being way too melodramatic, I feel like that's really, really missing out on this enormous market potential that this game has always had. Like we see, you know, in terms of Wayshore's content creation, in terms of Wayshore's communities, in terms of all that thing, this game is a relatively small game, uh, small card game in comparison to other ones. But on the other hand, anime is an enormous multi, uh, I want to say billion, but I cannot confirm that with numbers. But actually, I'm going to search that up right now. 24.1 billion dollar industry anime yet way Shores is one of the smallest card games in north america i know in japan it's actually quite big so don't before you like become the content double checking police i'm aware it's huge in japan but i'm talking about an na here 24.1 billion dollar market cap and we are one of the smallest western card games it feels, again, very much so that anime and way shorts are two separate things. So where did, why, why did I first, when did I first feel this way? I first felt this way when Strictly was hosting its locals four or five years ago before Strictly opened its physical card store. Waifu tournaments. I know, waifu tournaments. Well, you're using that as evidence or something, but hear me out, hear me out. Waifu tournaments would have like a 30, 40 man turnout. And it was like a battle for each other's waifus. When I opened Strictly, I started doing locals. You know, we still had those 40-man 40, 40 turnouts, 30-man turnouts and everything. But then when it came to the waifu tournament that we decided to host one year for Valentine's Day. And yeah, maybe I'm thinking back to this reminiscing because Val Valentine's Day just passed. Uh, the turnout was like two people showing up. And they just ended up playing against each other. Something is no longer being captured by this game that could be captured. Two people showed up for our Strictly Broken TCG waifu tournament. It's either 
I foster a culture that's filled with people that only want to play the game competitively or in reality, I'm just noticing from my personal experience, extrapolating to the larger picture that again, the anime is getting separated from the card game. What has, what is Waste Choice's biggest selling point? It's connection to a billion dollar industry is being segmented off from the actual gameplay. Look at online forums as well. The predominant conversation in all these forums is always like, this game is complicated as fuck. And there are a lot of very intelligent people that have very, very intelligent insights about this game. More so than games that are like very fundamentally clear in this strategy. You know, Magic, I feel like, is a more clear game than Waste Wars in the strategy. The cards do what they do. You got, uh, The probability is fairly simple to calculate. And you just play Waste Wars is like very, very dynamic in it. So these there's some very intelligent people talking about this game. But again, when, when you see that all the freaking time, I feel like the anime is getting pulled out from this game. This anime card game is becoming a card game that is just very, very highbrow and uh, thought-provoking, but not a game that I get excited to play because I love anime, because I love sword art, because I want to stare at Sugu's ass. No, I'm playing this because of the, the mechanics. Again, I'm not even saying that's wrong. But that seems like a huge waste of the potential market cap that this game has captured. And, you know, there is some, I want to say there is some light in the end of the tunnel where, you know, I, I, I've, I've gotten many big name, famous anime fans DMing strictly about wanting to purchase certain cards of their favorite animes that has happened and so I see that kind of connection that Waste Wars maybe does have an anime fandom connection just for the mem just for the memorabilia of the memorabilia of the SP cards but as people like I there's no there's very seldomly a waste player that doesn't watch anime as people who do watch it appreciate it Love these beautiful scenes that, you know, I'm currently a part of, apparently. Um, I feel like we could just be doing a better job fostering that aspect of the game. Again, and I say this with a super big maybe, that maybe I'm in a crowd full of people who are like that, and that this game, for all intents and purposes, is very, very healthy in terms of its connection with anime. But I can only speak from my perspective... And I can't speak for other people's perspectives. I feel like it's lacking from this from the circles I'm in. And if that's also true for the for other circles as well, that's where I see a big concern. A game that could be something really big because of its potential and its connection with such a big industry isn't really grasping that as effectively as it can be, leading it to be a lot smaller than I think its potential is. And uh, the player base not growing to the level that I th think is actually definitely possible for a game with uh, such a close attachment to such a high value industry. So that's it. That's my thoughts. Call it a rant. Call it a reflection. Call it whatever. I just wanted to put this on the record that I, I, I've actually thought about this a lot. And uh, at least from my perspective, it's actually kind of like a problem. Maybe not. Maybe not even a problem. Maybe just a phenomena. Uh, leave, leave a comment in the comment section letting me know if, you know, your player base is all about the anime or, you know, all about the game and its mechanics and being competitive and everything. Because uh, I just want to know, like, absolutely leave a comment let me, letting me know if my theory is justified or is it just me being too uh, stuck in my own bubble and my own circles. So leave a comment. Like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, it's UA signing off. Peace. Enjoy the pictures.